I'm going to show you guys how we printed the film inserts for the covers of our first book. Myself and Brandon Smith have been working on this thing for quite some time. The process of the book has definitely been a lot of a lot of handmade, a lot of hand cutting. In this case, these are all of the uh, the um, inlays for the cover. Each one of them are printed individually on this enlarger here at my house. Within the book, there's also the 16 millimeter strips that are that were all printed out in Toronto, cut, inserted. More work than I put into anything just about my whole life. So you guys should check it out. Anyways, let me show you guys how we printed the covers. So you have your piece of film here. Can you see that? I just cut a small piece. So there's a piece of negative film in here. Negative film is shot out down into this enlarger, projected. This is a, this is a custom 70 millimeter reel to reel carrier, negative carrier. Once the film is in here, press the button, expose it, 2.3 seconds. That's it. Here's your piece of now exposed film ready to go into the developer bucket. You can look at the film here, nothing on it. Clear. Clear. Well, it's not it's gray. <laughs> it's more like gray. But, all right, we're gonna dip in this developer for two minutes. Kind of goes a little bit more dense now, and you can start to see the image appear, essentially. The best part about printing film. You can see a little bit better there. So there's our skate coming in. Then we wash it a little bit with a little water or stop bath, the developer with your left hand, fixer with your right hand, since you're dipping both of your hands in there. Some people like to use gloves, I don't really care. So, check out this film here, this is developed but not fixed, which means the base has not gone clear yet. Oh, I guess I should mention, this here is a 35 millimeter print on 70 millimeter film. So now it's dipping in the fixer, one, two, three, four, five. Usually you'll leave it in the fixer for about two minutes as well. And now it's fully clear. These are all from my shower. These hangers. Because I live upstairs. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna watch it for about five minutes. Constantly trying to replenish the water. Once you're done with the developing of the film, and the stop and the fix and the first wash, you run into this thing called the perma wash, which is meant to get the rest of the fixer out of the film and make sure there's no more residue left on the film after you you dry it. So you do this, wash it one more time, hang it to dry, and you're all done. It's like watching a dream. That's what this is.